in our life, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, yes. for magnifying your name in her life, Father. Yes. Father, thank yes. you, Lord God, for your great grace being thank the one of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God, for consecrating her for your use. I thank you right now, Lord God, for hallelujah, for what you're doing in our life. Speak a word in season to the people, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, God, thank you for great revelation. Give her sharp, clear vision on tonight, God. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. We praise you. Good evening, everybody. I was just interceding for the prophet on tonight. As you come in, bless the woman of God. Bless the, bless the woman of God as she comes in. As as you come in, Hallelujah. bless the woman of God. Say say good evening, Prophet Davenport, Prophet Quam. Welcome her as you come in. I'm going to take a few moments and share, 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 and I'm asking that you would do the same. Bless the woman of God as you come in. As you bless come the Lord. In, sharing right now. I'm sharing right now. I'm sharing. I'm sharing. I'm sharing. I'm sharing. I'm sharing right now. Amen. All right. I'm sharing. I'm sharing. I'm sharing. Come on, everybody. Come on. Come on. We in this together. Come on in the room, y'all. Come on in the room. Everybody, everybody. Come on. Praise the name of the Lord. We bless the Lord. Hallelujah. His is worthy to be praised. Glory to God. Come on, everybody. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Good evening, Elder Reed. Blessings to you, my dear. Good to have you. Good to see you. Praise Thank God. You. Come on in. Come on in. Come on, come on, come on. Come in the room. Come in the room, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Come in. Come on in. Come on in, y'all. Come on in. Hello, hello, hello. Blessings. How you doing, Sister Lewis? You've been hanging tough with us. Sister Lewis, you've been hanging. <laughs> Sister Lewis, you've been hanging. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As you come in, can will you would you take a moment to, to pray from me as you come in? I need prayer. Come on. I'm at the altar tonight asking for prayer. Can you praying for me? Come on in, viewers. Come on in. Come on in praying for your sister. Come in with a prayer and come in with a praise. I hope you came in praying in the spirit. I hope you didn't come to be a drag on the on the prayer tonight. I hope you brought something with you. All this words you've been getting, all of these prayers you've been a part of, you should be able to ignite something by now. Hallelujah. Yeah, Hallelujah. The power of God in your life right now. I should be able to feel great grace coming out of your prayer life by now. This day 11, y'all. Welcome, welcome, welcome to those of you who are joining us for the first time. Hey, if you missed it, then listen, I'm going to ask you to lean in real hard and strong on tonight because this is day number 11. Yes, Lord. 11 of the 12 day restore fast. And uh, we have a special guest with us on tonight, this woman of God. I tell you, I'll introduce you to her in just a moment. This is Prophet Kwam Davenport. Prophet Kwam, not Prophet Kawana, not Prophet <laughs> Kawana, Tawana. Not not Kiana. Her name is her name is Quam. Not Nahum. <laughs> None of it. Her name is Quam Davenport. And so come on in and 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 greet her and and just be a blessing to her um, as you as you come in and greet the woman of God. But I want you to pray for me. Can you please pray for me? Um, as I continue to share and as I update the Facebook post, come on in praying for me now. Come on in, yes, calling my name. Up. Come on in, come on in, come on in. Hallelujah! Come on in, praying for me. Lift my name up before God. Come on, lift me up. I need it. Lift me up. Bless me. I've been pouring just as much as anybody else. Come on, I need you. I need you. Mm -hmm. I need you praying. Hallelujah. I need you praying. Need you praying. Hallelujah. Come on, I need you praying out there. 
If you are on yes, tonight, Lord. I need you to be praying. And for those who are joining for the first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. Would you take time uh, out to uh, to share? Would you take time out to like and share? Take time out, please, to like and share. Yes. Share. Amen. All right. I got I got my title all set up here so that people will know uh, what this is that's going on. Because, you know, out of even the 11 days that we've been on, one new person will look and say, now what's going on? Now what's happening? Amen. Praise Welcome. God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for welcoming the woman of God. If you Welcome, are everyone. available to type, please come in with a prayer. Come in with a praise. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God yes, is Lord. good and his mercy yes. endure to all generations. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We bless your name. Father, we glorify you. Glorify you. Hallelujah. You are our strong tower. You are our sufficient one. You, hallelujah, oh, you are the hallelujah. God that hears us. You're the God that delivers. You're the God that restores. Come on. You are the God that restores. You're the God yes. that causes us to be restored. You're the God that causes us to be renewed. You're the God, hallelujah, that is the lifter of our head. Come on. Can I get you to pray tonight? Can I get you yes. to exalt the name of the Lord today? Hallelujah. You kept me these 11 days true and faithful and you kept me dedicated and you kept me bought in. You kept me uh, engaged into the fast until this time of prayer. And so, Father, I just thank you for your great grace. Come thank on, can you, I get you to pray tonight? Can I get you to exalt the name of the Lord? Come on. This is day number 11. My God, yes. thank you right now. Hallelujah for this day number 11. We give you the praise today for how you've kept our bodies, how you've kept us from danger seen and unseen. We thank you for this experience that you have brought us on, that you have spoken to us from day number one, Lord God, and we are into day number 11. And Father, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus that the words that you have spoken to us, Lord God, they are transforming our lives. They are bringing Lord God, the rain into our lives. They're bringing Lord yes, God fruitfulness. It's bringing Lord God, hallelujah, a fertilization. It is bringing strategy. It's bringing instructions. It is bringing correction and alignment. It is bringing power. It is bringing a demonstration. It is showing me your love. Come on, come on. Pray, pray, pray. pray. Hallelujah. I want you to pray while your muscles, your stomach muscles are tightening up because they're getting stronger. Come on, I want you to pray. You pray, pray, pray. Put the demand on your belly to push out words of exhortation, push out words of exhortation. God, I'm in strong pursuit of you. I'm in strong pursuit of you, God, over my naysayers, over my enemies, over, my naysayers, over, my enemies, over the tricks and challenges of the enemies. I still am am in pursuit. Even though these 11 days, God, it may seem like nothing has happened, but I am per in pursuit. My pursuit, oh God, has nothing to do, Lord God, uh, with what I see, but it ever has everything to do with my hunger and it has everything yes. to do, Lord God, with my faith. Hallelujah. I latch on, I clench on to the horns of the altar, Lord God, asking you, Lord, in the name of Jesus to bless me. Come on, wrestle yes, Lord. like Jace could Hallelujah. Like Jace wrestle. Bless Lord me God. indeed. Bless me indeed. I got a limp, but bless me. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Come on. I need you to war in this atmosphere that this is my season. This is my season of restoration. This is my season of moving forward. I will not be stuck in this today, but I am moving forward. This is my moving forward season. This is my season, hallelujah, with my ground has been turned over. Yes, Lord. My ground has been broken. The Lord has Jesus. tried my faithfulness and I'm coming out as pure gold. And I thank you tonight, God, and I appreciate yes, you, Lord. God, for watching over your word to perform it. Father, I thank you now that here, now that we're yes, here, Jesus. now that we're here, we dare not shrink back, but we're coming stronger. Yes, we're going to come across the finish line strong. Come on, strong. Strong. Yes, strong. In the name of Jesus, I have fought a 
good fight. I have fought against my flesh. I have crucified my flesh. I've been off the telephone. I've been out of the TV. I've been, Lord God, I've been abstaining away from the food that was according to the criteria. Lord, I have been praying and seeking you. I've been in worship and Father, I come, Lord God, hallelujah, with a strong hallelujah, hallelujah, that you are pleased with my praise, that you are pleased, pleased with my sacrifice. I thank you with a clean conscience, oh God, lifting up my hands without wrath and without doubting God to obey you. Hallelujah. To continue to seek your face. God, I thank you, Lord God, for dropping what you brought to me. Father, I thank you right now, hallelujah, for your investment. I thank you for my seed has been sown on the ground. I thank you right now, Lord God, hallelujah, that I will see the transformation, that I will see the fruitfulness, that I will see the abundance of your word, that you are not a God that you should lie, but you will perform everything that you've spoken, every prophecy. Come on. I need you to pray in this atmosphere on tonight. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you for doing everything that you promised me. Hallelujah. Out of the enemy's way, out of the enemy's view. Hallelujah. I thank you that you have spoken over my life, and I thank you that it is hidden for due season. I thank you that ears haven't heard and eyes haven't seen what the spirit of the Lord has in store for them that truly love him. Come on, come on. I need you to pray. I need you to pray. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Stand up. I need you to stand up bold. I need you to stand up strong. I need you to stand up prophesying life over your body and life over your ministry and life over your family and life over your business and life over your career. Hallelujah that God is not finished with me. Hallelujah. This too shall pass. This sickness is not unto death. Death. This testimony shall be spoken for the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God that he has healed me, that he has set me free, that he has set me upon a high rock. Come on. I need you to pray. I need you to pray. I need you to pray. Hallelujah. That the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord. Come on. Come on. I need you to pray. Glory to God. Whom shall I fear? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Whom shall I fear? I need you to pray. I need you to pray that if God is for me, who can be against me? Come on. I need you to lift up your voice like a trumpet. Hallelujah. And glory. Hallelujah. And it was good that I was afflicted because I was high minded. It was good that I was afflicted because this fast has caused me to be humble. It was good that I was chastised. It was good that I was in a place consecrated and isolated and set aside for the Lord to speak to me. Come on. I need you to pray in this atmosphere on tonight in Jesus' holy name. Hallelujah. Lord Lord can count me faithful. Come on. The Lord can count me faithful. The, the Lord, Lord can, can count me faithful as consistent. The Lord yes, can count me. Come on, I need you to be in your chair, in your living room, in your kitchen, in your bedroom, wherever you are. And I need you to do this. And what you're doing, what are you doing? You are pushing the plow. Oh my God. You are pushing Jesus. the plow. Hallelujah. Come on here, push. The Lord says that, 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 that when you are pushing this plow, if you turn back, you're not fit. You're not fit. He says that when you, when you grab hold of this plow and you begin to plow and you begin to go forth in the gospel. He said, when you turn back, when you quit, you're not fit. You are not fit. Come on, come on. I need you to plow a little further on tonight. I need you to plow a little further on tonight. You know what? Your your mental is activated when you begin to plow. Your mental is activated. Come on, like Elijah and Elisha. Come on, your plow. Your plow is the thing that activates your mantle. Come on. I need you to let God I see you plowing on tonight in the name of Jesus. Come on, lead it, lead in it, lead it. lead it, lead it. That's right, Elder Smith. God Jesus. bless you. That's right. Push in the name of Jesus. You better push that plow. You better push that plow. Hallelujah. You better push that plow into your restoration. 
You had a flat Either. tire when you first started 11 days ago. My God, but you've been through a full service during these 11 days. Huh? Yes. You've been through a full service. You got new tires. You got an alignment. My God, today you're able to drive. <laughs> you're able to go through yes, the realm without having any vibration or shakiness. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, come on. Get your Bible. Get your Bible. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter number 53 that when you fast, my my way. When you do a fast and when you conduct a fast that is pleasing to me, he said, I'll be your real reward. He said, I yes. will saturate your body with healing. Come on. I need you to pray. I need you to pray the word of the Lord because yes. God is watching over his word. He's watching over his word. Come on. Psalm 103 verse 20 says that the angels of the Lord excel in strength. Hallelujah. Hearkening into the voice of God's word. Come on. Let the angels hear you pray the word. Pray the word. Pray the word. Yes. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Open up your mouth. Hallelujah. Of hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Come on in here with your holy boldness. Come on here with your holy boldness. Glory to God. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With holy boldness. My Lord. I don't know about you, but I'm stirred up on tonight. Hallelujah. Yeah. I'm stirred up and I'm ready to go. Huh? Ready, set. Ready, set, go. go. Praise the name of the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I love the Lord today. Hallelujah. I don't know yeah. about you, but I love him. I was looking for that scripture in, um, in Isaiah 58, Davis. Isaiah 58. Mm -hmm. My Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, the Bible says in Isaiah 58, um, verse number 8, 58 and 8 says, Then shall thy light break forth as the morning, <laughs> and, thy, and thy health shall spring forward speedily. Hey, hey! Come on, Jesus. word, King James. Come on, run on over there. Uh -huh. King James says, uh -huh. Isaiah 58 and 8, and then shall, he says, after you fasted the way I stay fast. He says, then shall thy light break forth as the morning, and thy health shall spring forth speedily, and thy uh -huh. righteousness shall go before thee. The glory of the Lord shall be thy reward. Come on. Yes, and thou shalt, yes. thou shalt call and the Lord shall answer and thou shalt cry and he shall say, here am I. For if thou take away from the midst of thee the yoke and put forth the finger and speaking vanity, and if thou shalt draw out thy soul to the hungry and satisfy the afflicted soul, then shall my light rise in obscurity and thy darkness shall be as the noonday. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm saying it's morning. I said it's morning time. Amen. It's Amen. morning time. I'm not talking about you go with your prayer cloth uh, over your head crying out to God. I said it's morning as in the breaking of a new day is upon yes. us. Hallelujah. This is the breaking of a new day. And so, amen. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. I have invited um, this is my sister, y'all. This is, this is, you know, this is, this, y'all better watch out for Prophet Kwam. Y'all, y'all better watch out for her. That is my kingdom sister. And I believe that okay. Prophet Kwam will, will get y'all for Davis. I, I, I think she will come for you. I will. I think that I she will. will come for I will. You. I mean, I mean, I mean, she will knock if you book. You hear what I'm saying? <laughs> I know that about her. Oh, come on. Y'all y'all still know my D, my Duval still here. I done told y'all for 11 days, hallelujah, that I'm still 904 for show. So listen, <laughs> I want you to re I want Jesus. you to prepare. Get your get your journals and get your pen and get ready to receive this woman of God. Let me tell you some things about her. She is a licensed mental health counselor. So she can, so, so she, so she can, she can cast the devil out and then she can counsel your, your mind back the way it's supposed to be. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. She's a woman that has sharp discerning. She operates in the spirit 
of, of the you. deliverance. Deliverance is one of her gifts and definitely intercession. She's a powerful intercessor and the Lord has given her great revelation. So I'm going to move out of the way because I want this woman of God to share with you the living word of God. So I introduce the summit, present the others. This is my sister, y'all, Prophet Quam Davenport. Receive her. Jesus. I just bless the Lord. Thank you for this opportunity. Every time I can just speak of the goodness of the Lord, it's such an honor. I give God the glory because of who he is in my life. Listen, if he didn't save me, where would I be? And so I give him all the praise and I give him all the glory and I give him all the honor. I bless God's leaders, Bishop Calvin McCoy Jr. and Pastor Donis McCoy. Anytime that I'm in before anyone, I always, I always have to honor them and for my family my husband and my children i am just excited thank you thank you thank you thank you for this opportunity but i just want to jump into it because i was so excited about what the lord was saying and even when we think about this day this is the 11th day of this fast and so today is october 30th 2021 but when you break these um, numbers down um there's three numbers um, that I'm going to really focus on. Um, so when you add the 10th month, which is October, this is the 30th day, and then 2021, um, it adds up to um, nine. So you get the, the one, the three, and then uh, 2021 equals five. So that's nine. So God, um, this is a period of where God, um, you're in between the, the conception and the birth. And so on tonight, as God has really um, just going to break down um, some things, you're in, you're in your birthing place for God to birth those things out in you that you have been in anticipation for, you've been carrying it. And so on tonight, you will release those things in the spiritual realm to see them manifest in the natural. Now, this is the 11th day. And so when I began to look up um, the 11th day, um, this is God bringing um, restoration and us being in our rightful place in God as it pertains to fasting and prayer. And on this 11th day, God said it's going to be a paradigm shift. Now, when I think when you when you say, what's a paradigm? Ship. I'm so I'm so, so glad that you asked me. Um, and so it is us allowing the change um, from what we know that happens uh, in our way of thinking, and is for us to think a different way. And so on tonight, God is going to allow you to think um, to think and view fasting and praying from a new level. I'm um, in a different perspective than the way that you've seen fasting and praying before. And now when you add 11, which is one and one, so you get two. And so I'm going to put it all together for us. We're going to come into agreement in alignment with God um, and shift our perspective in our understanding and birth out what he has called for us to birth out through fasting and prayer. And so even as she was reading Isaiah um, 58, I, I said, if she go to my scripture, I'm going to be like, Lord, we in there, we in there. But one of the benefits of us fasting is for us to be able to open up our mouths and release a cry unto the Lord and so that he can humble us he can deal with us he can correct us he can chastise us he can love on us in order for us to understand some things don't produce unless it's through fasting and prayer and so um when we look at this day um god said he's going to restore to us our rightful place in god and so what is restoration restoration is god bringing us back to our original state and so um i was I tried to find my shirt. I couldn't find it. I, it said reset. Um, I got um, Pastor Donna's had a prophetic uh, conference and then we got shirts. And so God is resetting us, bringing us back to our proper place when it pertains to fasting and praying. Now, everybody loves to do the Daniel fast. And that is wonderful. And that is great. 
but God is, is requiring us to not just eat fruits and vegetables and seek his face, but he is requiring us discipline to put this flesh under subjection and be able to cry out to him with no food, uh, drinking just liquids, um, praying, uh, getting up out the bed, even when we're tired, uh, to be able to hear what the Lord has to say. And so he's restoring us. He's restoring us to that place where fasting won't be just because the church called to fast. Our leaders called us just to fast, but we'll be disciplined to fast on our own because we desire, hallelujah, to seek the face of the Lord like we've never sought him before. So being restored to our rightful, what is rightful? It's our legitimate right. It's our position. It's our status, um, place. It's a, it's a particular position in God. And so um, when we recognize that fasting and prayer puts us in a place where we're seated in many places, we will stop wrestling and um, with those mundane things. We'll stop being, we'll stop stooping low um, to handle situations will stop uh, coming down from where God has placed us and go up, seek the face of the Lord in a heavenly place. We, our emotions won't di dictate our seek. Ah, nama, our, our emotions, uh, our mindset, it won't, it won't dictate our seek, uh, but the way that we fast and pursue, we're in pursuit of the things of God. We're in pursuit of the more of him. And so when I'm fasting and when I'm, when I'm praying, I hear God more and clearer than when I've ever heard him before. And so we have to know, I'm mean, Ephesians 2, 6 through 10. Uh, I'm going to go there really, really quickly uh, because we got to know our standards change when we fast and pray. Um, it's just not something that we're doing because we're trying to get from God, but we're doing this for God um, to stretch us uh, in the things of him even the more. Um, and so Ephesians 6 through 10, and I'm going to read it um, in the in uh, New Living Translation. <laughs> I mean, it says, raised us from the dead along with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms because we are united with Christ Jesus. If you've been dead spiritually, wake up, arise, even as he called Lazarus from the dead, I'm calling you forward. Whatever your name is, come forward because you seated with Christ in heavenly places. If you've been dead spiritually, arise, arise in Christ and take your rightful seat. I said it today. I said, God, I'm taking my seat and I am going to sit well because of who you are. Let me go to verse seven. It says, so God can, um, so God can point to us in all future ages as examples of the incredible wealth of his grace and kindness towards us as shown in all he has done for us who are united with Christ Jesus. No, seated with Christ is your wealthy place. As I'm fasting, as I'm praying, being seated with Christ, that's my rightful place. That's my wealthy place. And so you don't have to seek out things. When you're seated with him, it will already be obtained because you're seated in the wealthy place because of who God is. Verse 8, God saved you by his grace when you believed and you can't take credit for this. It is a gift from God. So nothing I do, I can take the credit. And that's what fasting and prayer does. It produces a, 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 a level in you to be able to cry out to God that when you give him the glory, the only person that's going to get the honor, the only person that's going to get the reverence, the only person is the true and living God. Verse um, number 10 says, um, no, 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 number nine, it says salvation is not a reward for the good things we have done, so none of us can boast about it, for we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus, so we can do the good things he planned for us a long ago. So I can't boast in myself. I can only boast in the, of the Lord and I and we are God's masterpiece, and so everything that you are supposed to do, God already created 
created you to do that even before the foundations of the world. Take your rightful place. Stop sitting in a low level place. Take your seat at the table and sit there well because of who God is. And so as he is restoring that through fasting and prayer, you will understand that some of the things that you've been through is not just because of yourself, but it's because you've allowed some things because you thought so low. You've allowed some things because you've mishandled them. But as you step up, my name is so, as you're fasting, as you're praying, as you're seeking the face of the Lord, come up. And as you up, those things will not affect you. They won't affect you. They won't affect you. They won't affect you because of who God is. I'm going to talk about this paradigm shift. God um, is calling a paradigm shift to restore our covenant with him and with as it pertains to fast and praying. Uh, fasting, God is causing a shift in understanding your perspective. And oh, God, change our views. And uh, God, change our views as it pertains to fasting and prayer. Because a covenant is this agreement it's a binding it, it can't it's like a marriage fasting and praying uh, bind it to you bind fasting and praying to you ask god if you if you struggle with it god restore my covenant with you with fasting and praying and so as i'm fasting and praying it's going to produce miracles that god has already released unto us and that is going to glory and honor to god my covenant with fasting and prayer because of who God is, is going to produce miracles. It's going to produce miracles. Produce. It's going to produce miracles for you. The way that I fast, the way that I seek the face of the Lord, is going to produce a miracle that I've only thought about, that I've only dreamed about. It's all. It's going to. But it, it, it has to produce through fasting and prayer. It, it has to be re, it produced. So my perspective of praying, my perspective of fasting, has to shift from how it used to be. I can't fast grudgingly. I can't fast. I can't even go into a fast saying I can't do it. I have to do it differently. I can't go into praying and saying I can't pray like such and such. I have to get to the place where I am in covenant. I am in relationship. It means I do the work. Woo! I work, I work prayer and fasting together. It's, it's the working of it. It's the working of it. It's the working of it. It's the work of me turning my plate over. It's the work of me not watching TV. It's the work of me not being on social media. It's the work of me studying my word. It's the work of me. It's the work of me. Even when I'm hungry, it's the work of me going in my secret place and crying out to the Lord. It's, it's the work. It's the work of me getting in this word and dissecting it and meditating on it day and night. It's the work in me. Set my alarm to get up and be disciplined to cry out. I'll cry out to the Lord. If he tell me he want me to pray without ceasing, I'll continually to pray. Why? Because it's the working in me that's going to produce miracles. Because miracles, signs, and wonders. It follows. It follows. It follows my praying. It follows my fasting. I'm going to read this scripture. Jeremiah 30 and 17. This is what this is what the Lord said he'll do when we're in covenant with him and and and, and fasting and praying is restored. It says, I will give you I will give you back your health. Heal your wounds, says the Lord, for you are called an outcast, Jerusalem, for whom no one cares. And so when I fast and when I pray, I have to know that God is giving me back health. What type of health? Health in my mind. My mind, I won't be unstable. My mind is healthy. My emotions, my emotions won't be unstable. And uh, my physical health, God is giving it back to me. And then it says uh, that he will heal my wounds. So as I'm fasting, as I'm praying, as I'm seeking his face, God is restoring my relationship where things that affected me uh, wasn't seated in heavenly places. I wasn't seated in the right place. God is going to heal me from those things. Do you know that healing brings a, re re a, a form of um, healing brings relation on a whole nother level? 
Healing brings restoration on a whole nother level. Healing brings restoration um, to the to the um because God wants you whole. God wants whole. He wants us whole in our minds and, and what our think and what our thoughts. So that's why you can't watch everything, you can't hear everything, and that's why fasting does that for us. You can't eat everything, you do everything. That's that's what fasting produces out of us. It produces a miracle that only God will get the glory, and so we take God that he is bringing us back into a healthy place. He's bringing the church into a place where we are whole and complete in him. He's bringing us back to a place that we're not allowing the religious religiosity things, God, to be our focus, but our focus is him. And so when we fast and we seek him, our focus is God. Our focus is what he's saying, what he's doing, what the will of the Father is. We're able to release that into the atmosphere. And so my mindset has to shift because fasting is what produces results that's necessary for me being seated in heavenly places. God, my Lord. Let me, this, let me, oh, Jesus, fasting, it gives you the power and the authority. It gives you the power. <clears throat> And the authority to not just tread upon serpents, but you're fighting this fight in the spiritual realm and not in the natural. It gives you that power to be able to, conf- to continue the fast, continue the fast and not negate it. Uh, it causes you to have the authority to tell this flesh, I'm fasting. I'm bringing my mind, my will, my body, everything under the will and subjection of the things of the Lord. I'm fasting. And this is fasting for. You got to be able to say why you're fasting. And so fasting is not just a Daniel fast. Hallelujah. It's not just a Daniel fast. There's many, there's many ways to fast. It's not just a 21 day. It could be a week, three days. It could be 40 days. It could be 30 days. Whatever the Lord says, it can be 12. But fasting is not just you eating fruits and vegetables. Push past just wanting to eat fruits and vegetables. Push. Push past it. Push past it. If you if if you if you have to eat due to medical reasons, uh, do that. Uh, but 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 push past it. Push past just wanting to do something so simple because the flesh wants to still eat in a fast. Push past it. Push past. It. Be tired, but get up and seek the face of the Lord and uh, push past it. Saying uh, I'm just so exhausted. Get you a cup of water and begin to cry out and seek the face of the Lord. Speak, seek His face so you don't even want no water. Seek the face of it and get in that word and dissect it and study it because it is a reward and it's because of it's a benefit. Ah, uh, Jesus. Fasting produces results. What are results? Some things are not released until we fast and pray. Jesus. Some things are not released until we fast and pray. Some things are not going to happen in your life until you fast and pray. Why? Great question for asking. You have to fast because to get yourself in alignment to be able to handle what you've been fasting and praying for. I can't just be fasting. I got to be able to handle the results of my fasting and prayer. I got to be able to handle it. I got to be able to handle it. I got to be able, I got to be able to handle the results of, of, of the, of what I'm, I'm asking God to produce in my life to be able to handle it. I have to be able, uh, to, uh, to, uh, manage it and be a good steward over it and do it well. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. Listen, um, they were, uh, I'm going to go to Matthew 17 and 20, um, cause these, these are the results that we want to see. It says you, this is when the disciples were saying why they couldn't cast out, um, the devils and everything. And Jesus said, you don't have enough faith. Jesus told him, I tell you the truth. If you have faith, even as small as a mustard seed, you could say to this mountain, move here to there and it will move. Nothing would be impossible. Listen, when you fast, it it produces a, a greater um stretching in faith. It, it produces a greater stretching in your faith. Um, even even after Jesus fasted for forty days, then we get, we began to see miracles, signs, and wonders never before. And so even Jesus had to fast. He went and he separated himself. He went into the wilderness and he fasted for forty days and forty nights. And even when the enemy tried to tempt him, he could have gave into it. But right after that, what happened? God be Jesus began to produce miracles on a whole nother level. And so 
It's your faith. You have to know when you fast and when you pray, the impossible becomes possible. You have to know because of who God is and you're seeking his face and you got to push and call forth the miracles and the wonder working power of the Lord Jesus. Um, what is fasting? Um, prayer is producing. What is, what is fasting and prayer producing out of you? What is it producing out of you? What is fasting and prayer producing out of you? What is what is it? What is it creating on the when we go back? This is the ninth. It, it, this this is the ninth. Uh, the, when you add the numbers together, it's the ninth. <laughs> what is this birthing out of you? What 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 fast birthing out of you that you won't abort, that you won't miscarry, that you won't mishandle, that you won't go into postpartum depression after you uh birth it out? What is this? What is this uh fasting and praying? God, what is it birthing out of you? You won't you won't get depressed to this. You you won't struggle. You you won't you won't say, Jesus, I what did I fast for? Your fasting won't be in vain, but it will be to give glory and honor to the Lord. And so, uh, what are you carrying that will will be uh released what what are you carrying what are you what are you carrying through this fasting and this praying and seeking the face of the lord that it needs to be released and so we call for the release now in the name of jesus we call for those things that you've been carrying uh that you that you need to release uh, and birth it out and you had to go through a 12-day fasting and god is requiring you to call it forth so that it can manifest in the earth realm there's nothing hindering it there's there's nothing blocking it, and you gotta bear down. Nama sokoma, atame sokoma. You gotta bear down and push. Shama nebe so. You gotta bear down and push you gotta bear down and push it out you gotta bear down yes sometimes it, it fasting has it's been painful you get a headache you, you uh you gotta go to the restroom uh you you're lethargic but the but the outcome of it is for you to push it out it, it cleanses you uh, from things that's not hard. and so this fasting this prayer it is pushing you uh namaso it's releasing things out of you it's releasing it. 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 it uh, the benefits of fasting is to hear God on another level. It's, it's to hear him in a, in a greater way. The benefits of fasting is a, it's to hear God and to understand what God is saying. What is his will? What, what, what direction? What strategy? What door has opened? Uh, we're not going to be like the Pharisees and fat Sadducees and walk around and look weird and, and, and bail everybody. We fasting and praying, but we're going to be excited because God uh, is, is our source. We're going to be excited because of what God shall and will release. Uh, oh my God. God, and not only does uh, fasting and praying uh, allow you to sit in heavenly places and releases and uh, birth things out, but it also activates spiritual gifts on the inside of you. Uh, what has been laying uh, uh, caused it to come forward? Uh, wake up, wake up. Those things that have been laying dormant on the inside of you as you fast and pray, put your hand on your belly and command it to awaken awaken up those spiritual gifts uh, that you didn't even know that you had uh, awaken up those spiritual gifts uh, that you've been patty caking with and you've been playing with uh, awaken those spiritual gifts uh, that are refreshing that uh, sort of uh, God rain and pour down uh, God anew and afresh on those giftings uh, on the inside of us that you have given us uh, God we didn't give them to ourselves but you gave them to us uh, we activate the giftings uh, on the inside of us uh, that you have released uh, doing this this time of prayer and fasting. Release it to us, God. Release it to us. Even if we've been working in it, uh, operating in it, uh, release it on a greater level. Release it, Lord. Oh, God, so we can activate and use the gifts for your glory. God, we won't use them to promote ourselves for fame, but we will deny ourselves, God, and activate those gifts so that people can want to know who you are and they will want want to know what must they do to be saved they'll want to know they'll want to know they'll want to know they'll want to know
They'll want to know. They'll want to know. They'll want to know those things that you that, that you know that you know that you know. And even the things that you don't know, begin to ask the Lord what giftings that have been laying on the inside of me, God, that needs to awaken and, and, and allow me to cultivate them. Uh, cultivate the gifts on the inside of you. Don't just let your gifts sit idle. Cultivate them. And how you're going to cultivate them? You're going to lay them before the Lord. You're going to pray about them. You're going to seek the face of the Lord like you've never saw him before. God, we lay every gift that you've given us back at the altar to you. God, every gift that you've given us, even before the foundations of this world, even before we were created and formed and fashioned in our mother's womb, God, we lay them back at your feet. God, that you, we will use them the way that you have called us to use them. God, we won't use them in murmur and complain. God, we won't use those gifts, God, to get money, but we will use them to be a blessing, God, to the body of Christ. God, if we are hearers, let us hear on a greater level. God, if we are seers, let us see on a greater scale. Word of wisdom, word of knowledge, the gift of healing and working of miracles and discernment like never before. Get the serving. God, let it all be to the glory of of the Lord that will administrate these gifts to be pleasing unto you. Yes. We'll use these gifts to be pleasing unto you, Lord. Fasting and praying, it renews our pursuit of God. God said in his word, Matthew 6 and 33, when we seek first the kingdom and his righteousness, all these things shall be and will be added unto us. And so we, we want fasting to give us a, we want to drink from the well that never runs dry. And that's our pursuit of him. Uh, Ty Trippin had a song <clears throat> that said, I will, uh, I will forever. I think it's, I will forever. I will always, um, I will be chasing after you. And so in, um, in with our seeking in our, in fasting, let it cause us to pursue God in the things of God. Let, let us, let us get our word out. Let us study our word. Let us meditate on the word day and night. Let us memorize scripture. Let word, let us eat of it. Let it, let us soak it in. Let us go to sleep with it on our mind. Let us wake up with it. Let us worship God. Let us pursue God through worship and fasting and praying and, and, and praising him. Let our pursuit be uh, that it is flowing out of us, that we're drinking. I, 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 I dare you to drink from the well. I dare you to drink God, from the cup of the Lord. I dare you as you're seated in heavenly places to pers uh, tell God, I want to pursue after you. I want to pursue and I want to drink from the well that never runs dry. So that means if you've been thirsty, I pray that you have, I have prayed that even if you began thirsty, that you're not dehydrated, that you're hydrated because you've just been drinking and drinking and drinking from the will of the been drinking in your pursuit. You've been drinking and studying and praying and seeking his face. You've been you've been drinking from seeking his face. You've been drinking and drinking and it's been replenishing you. It's been refreshing you. It's been cleansing you. Ah, not my soul cold, my mind, baby. It's been it's been allowing God for it to flow from the crown of your head to the flow of your feet. When you we think of a waterfall, a waterfall is always flowing and it flows into a stream, a river, a lake, but it keeps going. And that's what we want. We want God to endow Romane Besor. We want God to endow us in our pursuit of him, that we will be like the deer that panted after the brook, after the water, that so our soul, let our soul long, Lord. Let let us long for him. Let us chase after him. Even in our relationships, let us pursue him. You know, when we first get in a relationship, we want to talk to that person all the time. And then let us do that with the Lord. We want to talk to that person. We want to call them. We want to be around them. Let that be how we pursue God. We want to talk to him. We want to we want to talk and, 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 and conversate and hear what the Lord has to say. Mm -hmm. Jesus, because we will recover all. We will, we will 
recover all. We will recover all. Everything that was lost or stolen, everything that the enemy took, we, we let him take. That we will recover all of it. Everything that looked as though we would never receive receive it back. Uh, God, we want God to recompense us. Uh, that means we all those things that was lost or stolen to be restored to us. Why? Because we are in pursuit of the Lord. We are in pursuit of the Lord. We're in pursuit of him. We're in pursuit of him. We're in pursuit of him, of our understanding of him, uh, of, of who he is in our lives. God, because, because of God, who, who wouldn't want to seek after him? Because, because of his loving kindness, he's drawn us uh, uh, because of it. Isaiah 58 and 12, it says, some of you will rebuild the deserted ruins of your cities. Then you will be known as a rebuilder of walls and a restorer of homes. God wants to restore. He wants to rebuild from those waste places. He wants to rebuild from those places in our lives that ain't always been cute, that's been ugly, that's been nasty, that's been disgusting. God wants to rebuild from those things. And, and we got to stand on it. We stand on it through prayer and fasting. How do we stand on it? Because fasting will, will produce a faith in us that we will begin. We will see those things as not as though they are. We will call them forward. We will believe it and we will speak it until it manifests our realm jesus god jesus take me to the scripture um 33 um it, it's, a, it's it's a particular scripture um uh we got to get scriptures and we got to recite them back to the lord right we gotta we gotta recite them back we gotta we gotta write them we gotta tell god about them right jesus hallelujah Jesus, Jesus, glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Jesus, Jesus. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna start at um yes, I'm gonna start at ten. Mm, no. I'm gonna start at six. <laughs> Jeremiah 33 and 6, and then I'm going to turn it back over to Prophetess Natasha. Um, it says, Never, nevertheless, the time will come when I will heal Jerusalem's wounds and give it prosperity and true peace. I will restore the fortunes of Judah and Israel and rebuild their towns. I will cleanse them of their sins against me and forgive all their sins of rebellion. Then this city will bring me joy, glory, and honor before all the nations of the earth. The people of the world will see all the good I do for my people. They will tremble with awe at the peace and prosperity I provide for them. Verse 10, this is what the Lord says. You have said this is a desolate land where people and animals have all disappeared. Yet in the empty streets of Jerusalem and Judah's other towns, there will be heard once more the sounds of joy and laughter. The joyful voices of bridegrooms and brides will be heard again, along with the joyous songs of people bringing thanksgiving offerings to the Lord. They will sing, give thanks to the Lord of heaven's armies for the Lord is good. His faithful love endures forever. For I will restore the prosperity of this land to what it was in the past, says the Lord. And so God is going to restore back to its original place Jesus. in him where we will be able to give him glory yes. and honor Hallelujah. in this world will be in awe because he is a true and living God. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I thank the Lord that he is mine full of us. I thank you that not only is he mindful of us, that God is so considerate and passionate and loving towards us, that God wants to heal us and restore us even when our hearts was not towards him. And so fasting and praying, it just produces another seek 
of God in a way that will say, God, I've always done everything the best. And I've, and I've made some mistakes. And I ask that you forgive me because he said he's going to forgive me, but he said he's going to give me, he's, I'm, I'm going to have joy. I'm going to laugh again. I'm going to be prosperous. He be healed. I'm going to be delivered and set free. And why? Because of my pursuit of him. And so if, if, if you, if I just want to encourage, continue to encourage you on tonight, fast and pray, but no fasting and praying has a benefit uh, like no other because God answers. God will always answer when we seek his glory to God. I turn it back over to prophetess Natasha, um, glory to God. Thank you. I thank God for for just his pursuit for me, allowing me to pursue him uh even when i didn't handle everything the, the correct the best way and i and i give him glory for that i give him honor for that jesus glory to god hallelujah glory to god yeah, hallelujah thank you jesus uh it's a blessing um last night um uh um Prophet is qualm last night. Um, the Lord had me to minister on some of the things that you talked about tonight. And there are people who are watching that I know um struggle with 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 the discipline. Um to sacrifice. Um they don't have problems sowing seeds, but they have a problem with, um, I was driving today and the Lord told me that our next fast will be a three day liquid fast. And we're doing 5 a.m. prayer. And um, um, people don't realize that they have different stumbling blocks uh, for a reason. There is a difference between you having a thorn in your side and you having a um, um, a blockage in your faith. Mm -hmm. There's it's, it's, it's a difference. That, that there is a difference. And um, some of the people who are saying what they can't do, they don't realize it's holding up your result. It's, 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 holding, it's holding up your result. Um, and so as you were, were ministering, you were talking about um, the things that are laying dormant with us and fasting brings it out as a result. The result of us fasting will bring dormant gifts out as we as we pray and as we push. Listen, you might be watching this video, this replay. You might be watching um, live um, uh, on today and you have said, um, I can't. Um, last night, the spirit of the Lord told us, prophetess Quam, that, um, that, that the gift of faith goes beyond you asking. When you operate in the gift of faith, there is no asking. You just perform it. You just do yep. it. When you operate in the gift of miracles, there is no, we going to wait and pray and see what the Lord, that, that you just perform it. And so there, there are those of you that have. Um, things that are going on in your body, things that are going on in your family, things that are going on in your relationship. And all God is, is um, looking for you to do is to fast until. Now, he might be convicting you right now to keep going. Who am I talking to? Who, who am I talking to? Who am I talking to? Who am I talking to? He might be convicting you right now to continue this fast um, because the challenge came in with um, you doing more than just the Daniel's fast because this fast was no meat, no sweets and no beverages. You just drink water. And even some of them still had to do lime and lemon and you putting kiwis and strawberries and all that. I ain't judging you. You heard the woman of God. You heard her say, push past what is uncomfortable. The Holy Ghost said that. What's uncomfortable in your, in your, um, in your flesh. I went to a boot camp um, meeting one time, a workout meeting, 
And the guy was like, the reason why you can't do them burpees because you're concentrating on the pain. <laughs> You can't, right. you, you can't, you can't do the push-ups. You can't do the sit-ups. You can't do because you com you concentrating on what's uncomfortable, and so some of us, you, 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 you can't fast effectively. You can't push because you haven't allowed your pursuit to radically take you past um, the fact that you're struggling uh, with with water. Is the result that you want from God? more valuable um and 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 worthy uh for for you to pursue is your release more valuable than the fact that um maybe you maybe you might need to pinch your nose and drink it maybe maybe you might need to fast until you see a miracle that might you be your testimony because it was my testimony those of you who read the enemies of progress is written in my book about that I was not a water drinker and it landed me in the hospital, and it had landed me in a hospital with uh with some with some with some issues. This was before Christ, and when I got yeah. sick, that was the first thing in fasting. That was the first thing I asked the Lord to do. I asked the Lord to give me the desire for water, and I I drank it like nobody's business. Now I don't have no issues drinking it all day every day. In fact, I don't even buy beverages. I'm a Genesis home. She buy her own beverages. The only beverages that I that I really like is coffee. That that's 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 the really only beverages that I like. And at the beginning of the fast, Prophet Kwam, I want to tell you that I did have a headache, like a mother. I had one. I want to let you know. But the results is what I was after. Listen, those of you that confirm this word, um, the woman of God is only using Zelle at this time, and so please go to your banking app. Wherever you bank, just go ahead and do a transfer tonight from your bank account to this number right here. Um, I want you to sow into your results. I want you to sow into your push. I want you to sow into things that were dormant coming forward. I want you to, to sow to all of the things that Prophetess Kwan was talking about, and those were the things. And I sent somebody watching today that you have heard this message from the woman of God and you are now being challenged to continue on this fast. I have been in that position so many times because I had so much from God that I wanted him to do in my, in, in my life. And he has done all that I have sacrificed, right? If you're not sewing on Z Zelle, if you're not registered for Zelle, it'll only take you, um, you know, two minutes to do just to go to your banking app and sign up for Zelle. You just need an email address, to enter your debit card information, and bam, you can make a transfer. And if you are not using your banking app or any of that, just go ahead and sold to uh, my cash app, which is Natasha N. Davis. We want to be a blessing to um, this woman of God. We want to be a uh, a blessing to her ministry. Uh, I'm getting, I'm, I'm taking time out um, to. So right now, because I do have Zelle, so I'm taking time out um, to sign in and um, and to sew. Um, for those of you that are sewing right now, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank, thank you for you. the seeds. I have some seeds coming in to my cash app. Praise thank the name you. of the Lord. I have some seeds. Uh, and, uh, Prophetess Natasha, I want to say this too about continuing. Um, <clears throat> I was excited that tomorrow was the last <laughs> just being transparent i'm like yes tomorrow's the last day and the lord was like no it's not wow you're gonna keep going you're gonna keep and so yes could be like man lord why you why you want me to keep going but it's because of my pursuit it's because of, of him i'm like all right it's okay i got this and 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 i'm not doing this to tell anybody to do it but i'm saying or is really pressing you to 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 continue do it and do it excellent into the lord because i promise you you're going to see results yes and it's and you're not just doing this just to see the results for you to get something but it's to get disciplined in your pursuit of the things of the lord yes. so that you can get up in the middle of the night or get up in, in the afternoon uh or during the day and seek his face and study for you to worship like you haven't worshiped him before with no restraints and, and uh, no restrictions 
And so that that's that benefit of fasting and praying. I'm I'm gonna pursue you, Lord, because of my yes. And like Prophet Santaja said, uh becoming disciplined. Yeah. The sleep got a lot of y'all. Sleep. Why won't you is. pursue the Lord and say, Lord, you are my rest? Why don't you pursue the Lord? It's funny how we can binge watch Amazon and Netflix and HBO Max. And you can you could bench you could you could binge watch all of that stuff. And when the Lord said, get up in the middle of the night and pray, now you're too tired. Why is that? Because oh, I got to get up for work in the morning. I got to get up for go to work in the morning. Come on here. Amen. It's because you are, you are, um, it, it, it because your pursuit and you're undisciplined um, to make those sacrifices. Listen, she said, one thing that blessed me that the fasting and praying is a marriage. <laughs> you can't do one without the other. And, and the prayer time is just as essential. What if there are some prayers that God wanted you to pray at three and four o'clock in the morning that brought the results? Um, there's, a Jesus. Dynamic, there's a dynamic book called um, Reordering Your Day. I read that book and it talked about how um, in different shifts of the day that there is angelic work and angelic um, activity that is uh, taking place throughout the day. And so there is a certain work that is happening, um, you know, in, in, in different segments of the day. So what if the miracle release was at four o'clock in the morning when you were supposed to get up and pray? Or if you were, if you go to bed early um, and God wants you to get up at midnight or one o'clock in the morning and pray. And so this is what we, this is what we want to, this is what we want to do. All right. This is what we want to do. We want to sew tonight. Um, if you want to sew on my website, you can do that. Please go to natashadavis.org. Um, if you look in the chat, my uh, cash app information um, is right there. All you have to do is look and see um, in the chat and it's pinned right there. I want, I want you to sew. I, I, I want you to, so I, and those of you that saying that you want to continue on, that you need to continue on, um, I encourage you to, um, uh, continue to see what fasting will produce. Watch this video over and over and, um, and over, uh, again, um, because I believe we are just now getting started. Some of us have been stuck in a place and stuck in a rut and stuck in our feelings because you, you hit on so much. You hit on so much. You're stuck in your feelings. Your feelings have um, control. Your feelings and your flesh um, have, uh, have control. And if you're in a place where you've experienced um, loss, uh, I was sharing this with someone earlier. You know, when um when when I was going through some severe losses or or, or going through a major loss, Prophet Davenport, well, my spiritual mom told me something, but I did not want to hear that. She said, "If the Lord hadn't intervened, that means He has a plan." Gee, I wasn't ready for that. I had to fast and pray then because I really wanted to. You know, I I I. Why would you say that? Right. <laughs> I'm be quiet. Be quiet. Being honest. Jesus. Just being honest. And she said, I'm like, I'm losing my home. Um I I don't have a job. You know, I'm I don't have anything. This is so uncharacteristic of the goodness of the Lord in my life. What is happening? And uh she said, if the Lord didn't she said if the Lord didn't intervene, he has a plan. And I didn't know his plan was for me to rel relocate and come to a, another state. But I wow. wasn't ready for what she said. And so I had to get in a fasting and praying position. And I believe it was the fasting and the praying that brought forth the prophetic word on what was going on. And one of the yeah. things that was said by the prophet who ministered to me for me to get confirmation on what was happening. The first thing that he said was, don't expect anything um, to open in Jacksonville for you because the Lord has reassigned you to a new region. Wow. I believe that if I had not been fasting and praying, that that answer would have been delayed or maybe yeah. I never got it um, or things like that. So those of you who are in something, listen, 
You need to be able to fast and pray to get the endurance, all right, that you need for your process, for your process. I don't know who it is, but I feel heat coming up my legs. And it's some, some of you all that need healing in your body, um, in, in your legs, around your knees, uh, um, especially today. Um, listen, I need you to go ahead and lay hands on your own self. There is such a, a, a intimidation for people to call the elders or you reach out for somebody else to pray for you. Listen, when, when, when there has been major illness, I didn't have time a lot of times to reach out to somebody else. I needed a breakthrough right then. And living the fasted and the praying life that I lived, uh, I could have went to jail for taking my daughter off of seizure medication. I could have went to jail. She was a she was a baby. I could have went to jail because they kept calling me to come back to Nemours. They kept calling me to come back to Wolfson's Hospital. They kept calling me, and I I refused to take her back. back. And I was mm -hmm. praying and I was fasting. Devil, you a lie. I kept fasting and I kept praying. And and my fasting and praying, the Lord said to me, "You haven't even noticed that she hasn't had a seizure in twenty four hours because at this time." Genesis was having up to 10 and 12 seizures a day Jesus. as an infant. As, a, as an infant, she was having these kind of seizures. So I took her off of all the medication. So you could call me foolish. I was ready to go to jail. I was ready to die. I was ready to do anything. I'm not, I'm not asking you to do what I did because that's what my faith was. That's what, that's what my faith, and I said, God, if I die, it's a good way to go. Fasting and believe in you. Fasting. I'm not asking you to do what I do. I'm not asking you to do what I do. And my daughter walked without, without medication for quite a long time. She walked without medication for a long mm -hmm. time. And I believe it was because the Lord honored my pursuit. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a husband. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I didn't have... You know, uh, um, uh, at that time, I'm closer to my family these days, but at that time, I didn't have nobody. I didn't have nobody. So listen, fasting and praying is really what you, really what you need to do. Hey, I'm about to go ahead and sow this seed and be a blessing to this woman of God. Um, please sow to my cash app. Um, if you do not have Zelle, go ahead and sow to my cash app. That is on the screen in the comments. Um, it's Natasha Davis, Natasha N. Davis, dollar sign, Natasha N. Davis. All right. If you have Zell, please. You so Ma'am. I said, thank you all so much. Amen. To God be the glory. We're sowing this seed. Um, um, we're sowing this seed because, um, we need a paradigm shift. I'm sowing cause I, cause I need a paradigm shift. I need a paradigm shift. Um, I mean, a paradigm shift in the way I do ministry. I mean, a paradigm shift in my relationship with the Lord. I just crossed a new decade mm -hmm. as a 50 year old woman. I've never been 50 before. Mm -hmm. I've never been, I've never been, I've never been 50 before. There are things ahead of me that I haven't seen. I haven't walked with anyone in my family at this age that I'm at. You know, I know people in their 50s that are ahead of me and there are people that are behind me, but I have never been a mother of a young adult. I need to fast and pray. I, I'm going into a new decade. Day. I have another book that God wants me to write. I have a revision of the enemies of progress that I need that I need to write. There are so many things that God has before me. And that I, I can't afford not to have a paradigm shift. If you always do what you've always done, you're always going to get what you always have gotten. And I'm saying to you that I be in my closet praying nothing but, Lord, I'm tired of being this way. To the person who look at me, you might think that it's, it's looking good from your perspective, but I know more yeah. is available. And I'm not just talking about yeah. money. I'm not just talking about money. I'm talking about wisdom. I'm, yes. I'm talking about I'm talking about boldness. Yes. I'm talking about I'm talking about investment strategies. I'm talking about how to live debt free. I'm talking about how to increase 
and 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 how I minister effectively to so I'm tired. To be honest, I'm tired. I'm tired of doing the same thing over and over again. And I'm looking for something fresh. I'm looking for something not just fresh because you can move from one state to another and do the same thing. And it's a different, you got something else different. No, I'm not talking about just the new scenery. I'm talking about the perspective in which God will have me to walk out and to live according to his will. You could get, you could get comfortable. You could get comfortable seeing the same connections, but who does God really want me to be connected to? Whoever this is, that you're having issues and problems in your legs and in your feet, I pray healing over you in the name of Jesus. I pray it over you now. I release it over you now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. May the warmth and the power of the Holy Ghost come upon your body now. May you sense right now. May you praise. May you worship. And may you not pay attention to what yesterday was to where you not receive your healing in this moment. Yeah, that's in Jesus' name. All right, guys, we have to go. Listen, prayer is at 7 o'clock in the morning. This thing about to come to Jesus. 7 a.m. We are. You meet me right here in the morning. And Prophet Ricky Porter will be joining us at 7 o'clock in the morning to close us out in prayer. Close us out in prayer um, at 7 o'clock in the morning. That's 7 o'clock in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. So for, you know, for Sister Rotisha, that's going to be six o'clock um, in the morning. Just make that sacrifice. And I want you to be careful. Those of you that have small children, be careful. Be careful tomorrow. Be careful tomorrow because even though you may not be acknowledging that holiday, other people is acknowledging the holiday. And if you're going to go to a church and you're taking your children to Trunk or Tree or to a fall festival, I still want you to be careful. I still want you to be careful and be careful what you explain to your children. Be careful what you invite to your house and, and, and be careful of, of, of the operations on, on tomorrow, because there are some things operating in this world um, um, that is operating unless you be vigilant, unless you have an awakening, unless you um, understand what's going on, you, you may not understand the presence that might be among you in certain situations tomorrow. So I want to ask you to be careful and, and stay under the love of God, under the, the blood of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We praise thank you, Lord you. Jesus Davenport. We thank you right now for her ministry. We thank you, Lord God, as she continue to fast and seek your face. We thank you that, Lord God, that the results will be immeasurable. Thank you that she'll come back and give us a dynamic testimony of what you did in her life. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All of those of you who are, are sowing um, a hundredfold return to you in the results. A hundredfold return. A hundredfold return to you in your results as you have sown um, all uh, 11 days. All right. We love y'all. We'll see you, Thank you so at 6 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be blessed.